Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisor Channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you from Westlake Village, California. It is Wednesday, turnaround Wednesday, turnaround Tuesday was yesterday, or did they call it Taco Tuesday? I don't know, but we're gonna jump into the charts. We're gonna talk about China's economy crashing, the 20 year olds that can't get a job. I think they said 20% of the youth are unemployed right now. Big problems over there in China. So the trickle down effect essentially may, may, uh, may be coming towards us here. And I did want to take a look at the shorter term time frames to see if we're going to get that bounce we talked about uh, before continuation to the downside as we looking for a gap fill on NASDAQ. Uh, Michael Burry also putting in a big short. I guess the meme is, yeah, he's he's called it right two out of the last 20 times. So. Hey, all you need to make a successful career, I think is, uh, you know, a very, very successful trade, but back into the charts, uh, again, kind of continuing on with our bias here with Dixie, um, as the dollar goes up, typically risk assets go down. The question is, can we confirm a local top here? How do we do that? Uh, simply by closing below this level at 102.76. But uh, more importantly, this pivot right here, you know, unless the dollar can get back below this pivot right here at 101.78, uh, pressure's onto the upside. And um, that doesn't bode well for risk assets. What else came out yesterday? I think it was retail sales and uh, probably jobless claims. Needless to say, it was kind of a sideways day. No, was it sideways? Um, following up on the four hour range. And here's what I would say, actually, in fact, you can break it down to the 15 minute time frame. Let me get back to my other chart that I've been using here. Uh, as long as we we're below this last consolidation, which is gonna be coming in here at 29, call it 29,300. Pressure is going to be on to the downside. And my main base case target today is we tap 28,950. Uh, again, that's 28,950. If we lose that level, the next level down is 28,350. And where is that going to line up with probably some Fibonacci numbers? Well, what do you know? Pretty darn close right there. Again, uh, you know, closing back above the purple 200 on the 15 minute and holding. You know, if you see something like this, the reversal could be on its way um, for a midweek reversal. As we're going to be looking for, um, you know, a reversal on the 15 minute or the hourly time frame, how would we get that reversal? Well, you need to see a W formation, which perhaps by closing an hourly back above this level, you would have your W. Boom, right? A higher low. Oh, this isn't a higher low. That's a lower low. That is a lower low, giving us the downside bias. So for, scratch that idea. But st same, same idea is in place um, for that level. And then if we go for a bit of a liquidity grab, 29,850 to the upside is going to be this target over here. And back into the cone analysis from the beginning of the week, that is uh, still what I am looking at right now. And what do we have today? The FOMC minutes meetings coming out. Is a pause possible given the data? Well, let's take a look at the good old Fed rate hike tool. Let's check out the bubbles and see what's going on there. I'll throw in the economic data as well and my internet's been running slow guys i don't know what's been going on lately this this morning but internet is not doing well so we got 11 percent chance of 25 basis points at the next fed meeting reminding us it's september 20th so we have some time for that and what do we have bouncing up here and down into the side well let's look on the daily everything a red day red day so far guys as most of the altcoins are bleeding it out, which reminds me to check in on good old Bitcoin dominance here. Just gonna get this out of the way. Do we have a bit of a setup 
forming? No, we do not. Just a bit of a consolidation. Probably going to wick up here and then wick down. That, that may be it. And the W is forming on Ethereum right now. And well, simply by uh, closing above this level on even a 15 minute time frame, I do believe there's going to be a potential reversal and I'd be targeting this move, 1830, back above 1830, which was the daily pivot we'd been talking about for some time. 1830, um, unless that level, that left shoulder can hold, well, a uh, significant downside move. Where's the downside measure move on this thing? I think I need my other chart. Bear with me just a second. Are we going to get the reversal? Are we going to get the fake out? Rune's pumping to the downside right now. Rune, after a massive move and some hype narrative, is actually looks like a reversal. But I'll get into that in just a second. Um, I was looking for Ethereum. Gosh, I'm going to get my regular chart up here. Let's see. We're looking at the 15 minute time frame. W formation back above this level and that'll get you a shot back to the next level on a 15 minute time frame. And if we do see this type, really you're gonna wanna see that uh, reversal come at something like this, drawn out like this. So you got your W, there's your higher low, right? And your wicks here trapping all the bears and um, what would you expect? Well, something like this if you're bullish and then we come up to uh, the top side liquidity for Ethereum, which is coming in at uh, 1875. So if we're gonna have a midweek reversal, that target is gonna be 1875. And I will just grab the little tool. It's probably gonna be right up here, right above those wicks at the top right there would be back to the top side of the boring paper range interesting ideas formulating so um that is it for bitcoin and ethereum does have the w going right now and um could we be getting the reversal let's take a look at dixie see if he is being a good little guy here and this is what you want to see for a short-term reversal on dixie and do we have any volume that's the thing you can't see volume on dixie but essentially confirming this 15 minute high closing here or higher that would goose the odds for dixie to come down in the short term and maybe we pop up short term and then take a leg down but again uh just putting it on a macro perspective if you're struggling on the shorter term time frames uh, essentially what we had been looking for since the bearish divergence was confirmed on the two week time frame Back here on this candle is a slow and steady glide down to this green box, which is coming in at, call it, well, it's right at the 0.5 and the 618, somewhere in this zone. Close enough is close enough at the end of the day, and momentum on the two-week time frame has remained to the upside. We'll cross down this week below 28,191. So holding on by its teeth here, we got another 11 days on that candle. Let's check out CMEs really quick. CMEs momentum is still to the upside, crossing down in nine days. So we got another nine days, about a week and a half for this one to play out. What does the weekly say? And weekly will cross back up above 30,300. If you do see that, guys, if you see the weekly momentum, flip it back to the upside. And what does that mean? Well, continuations, continuations. And um, that would be very nice. And in fact, that looks like a trend line that needs to hold on the stochastic here. Which, by the way, if you want to set up trading view and uh, get the setup similar that I got, there's a link in the description below. Don't forget, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Share it with a friend. If you find some of the content valuable, drop a comment for me. Um, let's take a look at some of the altcoins. I mentioned Bitcoin dominance should be 
popping its head back up and really you want to see it reclaim that purple 200 and hold above there if we are going to see continuation and you can see just laddering itself upwards and onwards for i'm going to clean this up just a little bit that was our macro range as we broke out of it where's the next main target going to come in probably at that not 0.5 which is right here so i'm gonna pop that up just slightly to 5478 giving us the uh you know the case for the Bitcoin bears to soak up some of the altcoins. And um, yeah, so as Bitcoin dominance goes up, again, altcoins do not perform as well in their Satoshi pairing. What do I mean by Satoshi pairing? This is a Satoshi pairing. This is ETH Bitcoin, a chart we've been keeping our eyes on. And ETH Bitcoin is kind of a governor for, you know, the broader altcoin market. And if ETH Bitcoin is bleeding it out, then you'd suspect some of those altcoins to bleed it out. And here's the measure move off of this and uh, this little falling wedge, whatever you want to call it, but uh, rising, rising channel, bear flag. But uh, yeah, that's the measure move. We are just breaking that bottom side trend line. And we'll just keep this out here for kicks and mark off the target just for... Uh, the next time we bring this up but this might be a time to accumulate some altcoins perhaps again not financial advice not a financial advisor the vix is popping up gives us a little bearish bias there for nasdaq and uh, again generally speaking did we get that end formation at the top here on nasdaq i think we got it on the smp let's see four hour time frame no, I think it was the hourly. Nope. 15 minute. Could you call this an M? Perhaps. Perhaps you could. Right here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, lower high and boom. That's what you want to see for nice moves. Did not see that one, but uh, there it is in hindsight. It's always 2020. Let's take a look at XLM as well big girthy green candle a red candle to the downside yesterday a lot of the altcoins getting uh getting crushed here and there is your m okay this is big this is big big m formation lower high okay could you call this a greater m or a descending triangle the measure moved down to this zone sorry it's so sloppy guys um let me get back to it but just thinking out loud here really quick. Descending triangle. Massive downtrend. And breaking it below this level on the daily time frame, you've got the kind of three wave structure. One, two. No, we haven't gotten the third push. So that's interesting. We haven't, unless you call that the third push, which you want to see volume pop three times. So maybe that's yeah, one, two, and now we're just consolidating. So perhaps she has a chance to bounce if Bitcoin does bounce, if Bitcoin does bounce. Not a bad thing at all. I'm going to show you something on the 15 minute time frame because the setup is happening before our very eyes. And here's what it is. Well, it's the green 55 short strategy and uh, we got official test here and uh, this on the 15 minute time frame i mean we're probably looking at a one and a half percent move where's one and a half percent take you is that down to 29,850? no 29,850 is a little bit higher call it one percent one percent is fair guys one percent is fair enough and that would be right around this liquidity block probably coming back right here yeah this is going to be a i don't know why they call it a vector zone a vector candle whatever you want to call it this is where the volume came in and we created a low and if we violate that low well there's a lot of stop losses probably hanging out right there 28650 which is kind of or no 28350 is where i think we will ultimately 
we're gonna take a swipe to the downside. Well, that's the next target below 28, excuse me, 20, 28,950, 28,950. All right, well, let's check out some of the altcoins because I know you guys wanna see where to put your shorts on, where to put your shorts on. And Pepe did get the return to the Friday low. Uh, shout out to the Annie at Crypto Banter on that one. She had a great call or a great trade setup on that one. Wish I could say I took it all, but I didn't. And uh, so it may, or let's see if I can get anything more from this. So, and then again, actually uh, getting a slight M formation here. I'm sure, yeah perhaps the beginning of the M. So what you'd want to see is something like this. If we are gonna to continue to reverse to the downside, we got a rejection at the 618, nice. Boom, boom. I don't think that looks right. Forget that guys. I don't have a good analysis for you on Pepe on the macro right now. I'm not comfortable with this one, super volatile, super volatile and uh, yeah, I would just say this, as long as Pepe is holding this downtrend, pressure is onto the downside. And I do think there is a risk that uh, Pepe comes back down to this area. So one, I mean, all the way down, all the way down to this area. I mean, if this is gonna play out as like a retracement, the next level down on Pepe is gonna be this area right here. Right there, yep. That, that would be the area to target once you lose that area. Okay, that's it out of me today, guys. I think we did enough. We did Ethereum, we did Bitcoin. So we take a look at H bar. did play out that move all the way down to the nine from last night. The question is that the high, one, two, three, and parabolic blow off top. Momentum's to the downside. Volatility is continuing and we could not breach this high. So you're gonna have bearish divergence all the way around. And yes, each bar looks like minimum target down. If we close anywhere here or lower, here or lower, and I'm looking for each bar to come down to minimum there. Uh, <clears throat> secondary target is gonna be at not point not five four seven. That's looking like a good one. One, two, three. Move is over. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys go. I hope you had a blessed and highly favored rest of your day, rest of your trading week. And let's just uh, be on the lookout right now for continuations or reversals. Again, cone analysis pops up, tags the top side and then the downside or vice versa, the downside and then the upside. I, I really, uh, I do think that's probably the that, you know, bounce along, bounce along, something like that, or, you know, whatever it is, but makes our way down to that 27.5, down to that purple 200, and then we play bounce or not, higher low or not, continuation of the upside or not, is it recession or not? Uh, but we will be keeping an eye on these markets and bringing you the best crypto TA out there. Look for the levels, 28.950 to the downside, 29850 to the upside for Bitcoin. Take care.